Jason Weiss. I'm the chief curator here at the Historic New Orleans Collection. The mystery and benevolence of Masonic and Oddfellows folk art is all about that, just the incredible, beautiful, mysterious material culture that Fraternal Lodges created as part of their rituals and their um, traditions. And, you know, Mystery and Benevolence, the traveling exhibit, is a way for people who would otherwise never get to see these things to actually get to see them up close and learn about their history and to just marvel about the, the beauty and strangeness. Freemasons are probably the oldest uh, fraternal ben benevolent society in the world and it goes back to the medieval stonemasons um, guilds in England and Scotland. Twelve of the signers of the Declaration of Independence were Freemasons. There's 84 uh, artifacts, um, some dating back to the 18th century. Um, the overall exhibition is in two galleries, adjoining galleries arranged in five sections according to the principles of fraternal life. So there's uh, fellowship, charity, labor, wisdom, and passage. They're very much part of the history of New Orleans, for example. We have Masonic lodges going back to the mid 18th century here. Um, the Etoile Polaire Lodge that I'm sure you've driven past many times has been there since the 1790s. Um, we have Oddfellows uh, Halls on Camp Street, Oddfellows Rest out at the end of Canal Street. People drive by that every day and probably just don't know what it is. Oddfellows Rest, what a strange thing. Come to this exhibit and learn all about the Oddfellows and the things that they've, they've done. So Jason, I mean, there is so much to see here in this exhibition, but one of the first things that caught my eye was this outfit right here. What can you tell us about this? Yes, this is uh, an inner guard robe that was associated with uh, uh, ritual degrees of the Odd Fellow. So you see the three interlinked uh, chain links there, standing for fellowship, love, and truth. Um, but this is something that um, a member of the Oddfellows uh, Hall would have been playing a specific role during the ritual ceremony. So the inner guard um, guards the inner sanctum yeah. and lets the initiate through at a certain time in the ritual. So these kind of costumes were made by regalia makers here in the United States. Wow. So the, the one that made this, um, prior to this, had made uniforms for the Civil War, and then after the war, kind of adjusted their output to things like regalia for fraternal lodges. Okay, everybody, we've made it to the other side of the exhibition. It's right across from the other one. And this table, Jason, I need it. Talk to me about what this is. A beautiful marquetry table from the early 20th century that uh, is associated with the International Order of Odd Fellows. So you see the three interlinked chain links there. With Which is a theme. Fellowship, love, and truth. You see an all-seeing eye, five-pointed star. So some of the other symbols associated with Odd Fellows but all of it kind of intricately pieced together with bits of, of uh, veneer wood. And this is handmade. Handmade, yeah. This is Beautiful so cool. Would you say this is kind of like their crest almost since they have the lynx and the all-seeing eye? Definitely, yeah. So the, the I think the three interlinked chain links are what you typically associate with the Odd Fellows. And you see the same chain links out on the Odd Fellows Rest Cemetery here in New Orleans yes. out on the end of Canal Street. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the area that is all about New Orleans. Okay, Jason, there is so much you can see in here. There are pictures, there's even a cookbook and a glass that you can look at, but there's actually some original certificates as well. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so the Etoile Polaire Lodge is one of the oldest Masonic lodges here in New Orleans uh, from the 1790s. Um, very graciously gave us permission to display some of the old documents from their archive. Amazing. So some very old and beautiful documents on parchment, um, beautifully engraved and, and handwritten. 
um, just really beautiful as objects, uh, let alone, you know, all the information they impart. No, it's so cool, everybody. I love how you all were able to take something that's really known, honestly, around the world and bring it right back here to New Orleans. There's even some pictures of some of the lodges that are still here today. You can check all that out here at this exhibition. It's all happening here at the Historic New Orleans Collection. Jason, great job. You and your team, congratulations so on a new exhibit. And look, everybody, it is free to come and check out this awesome exhibit. Again, the name of it is The Mystery and Benevolence Masonic and Odd Fellows Folk Art. And then, of course, this one downstairs is all about New Orleans. More information about all of the things happening here at the Historic New Orleans Collection, hnoc.org. Remember, it is free to come check out this exhibit. You have until May 10th to see it right here at 520 Royal Street. All right, stick with us, everybody. We'll be right back.